Thanks for staying with us. The local six-year-old girl who was hit by a car on Halloween in the southwestern portion of the valley, she's still in the hospital today. Her name is Brazil Ward, and she was leaving what they call a trunk or treating event at her local church when all of this happened. Ooh. Again, this is a hit-and-run investigation. Here's News 3's Trevor Thompson with the latest. It's been two and a half days since the accident, but Brazil's family says the little girl is still in critical condition at UMC. As far as the suspect is concerned, however, they say they haven't paid him too much attention, preferring instead to focus on their daughter's recovery. At this time, the driver is the last thing on my mind. Um, I'm thinking more of the well-being of my daughter and her recovering from her injuries. Six-year-old Brazil Ward, seen here in family photos, was living the perfect life, her parents say, just a few days ago. That is, until Halloween evening. Now she is sleeping in a hospital bed, recovering from severe head injuries. You know, she was just so happy. And, uh, you know, times can change so fast. And, um, you know, I can go on and on about her. She's just so great. Um, and her, her potential is limitless. Brazil was injured on Halloween when a silver mid-2000 sedan slammed into her, then fled the scene. The suspect, believed to be an Hispanic male in his 20s, is still at large, and Brazil is still in critical condition. But her parents are optimistic that one day she'll do what she loves most again. She loves to dance and sing. Yeah, she loves the dance and sing with me. Loves X Factor. She loves, loves X yeah. Factor. Brazil's family says doctors actually had to remove a portion of the little girl's skull to alleviate brain swelling, and because of that, she had to be placed in a medically induced coma. Reporting from UMC, I'm Trevor Thompson, News 3. So tough. The family has set up a fund to help pay for those medical expenses for little Brazil. And that's where you come in. We have all the information on our website at mynews3.com if you'd like to contribute.